What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. So today's title, Four Signs You Have the Favor of God. Now, I'm going to make this clear. Just because the favor of God is over your life doesn't mean your life will become extremely better at the beginning. Sometimes it's going to feel like it's getting worse before it becomes better. And one of the scriptures I try to live by when those moments happen is greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That's a scripture I try to live by, especially when I start to recognize signs that the favor of God is over my life, because it's going to feel like the whole world is attacking you. Friends, family members, people at your job, it's going to feel like the enemy is just picking with you. And one of the things we must realize when the favor of God is over our life is think about the people that the Heavenly Father is putting you in front of. The people that have been waiting just as long as you have. But now the Heavenly Father is choosing you. He's putting you in front of the line. So those are some of the things I will be discussing in this video. Let's get into it. Number one, nothing you plan works. When God has a plan for your life, as you develop your relationship with God, over the course of time, you will begin to realize that nothing you plan works. So when that begins to happen, it can make you feel like you did something wrong. But that's not the case at all. See, when the favor of God is over your life, the reason why your plans don't work is because God got a better plan for your life. That's why the Bible say. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. The reason why this scripture is so important. Is because it let us know we don't have to chase nothing in this world. And it also let us know that whoever believe and love the Heavenly Father with all their heart, we have a guaranteed victory through Lord Jesus. So that's why nothing you plan works. Because the Heavenly Father don't want you to settle for less than what he wants to give you. And the plans that he has for our life will always lead us toward life. See. Sometimes what we want to do in life can interfere with what God wants to do in our life. And the enemy will try to use that against us to lead us out of the presence of God. That's why when the favor of God is actively working in your life, it will block certain things from happening. Simply to keep us on the right path, and that's to follow Lord Jesus. So when things aren't working out in our life, it's because the Heavenly Father is redirecting your focus. He has chosen you to do his will. Number two, your life becomes better. Now, before it feels like things are getting better, it's going to feel like your life is actually getting worse because you start to lose things that may have some type of importance or value in your life. And to be honest with you, when the favor of God is over our life, Sometimes we hit rock bottom before things get better. The reason why this happens is because God is removing the impurities that keeps your life from getting better. So you may lose relationships with people that you love. Long term friendships may all of a sudden come to an end. And that's because the Heavenly Father is cleaning up the circle of people that you be around. You may even lose certain job opportunities that you wanted to have. But when that starts to happen, it's because the Heavenly Father has a better opportunity that's waiting for you the moment you let go. You know what they say. When one door closes, another one opens. So when you start experiencing signs of the favor of God over your life, it might seem bad at the beginning before it becomes good. But everything happens for a reason. See, the favor of God also reveals who's real and who's fake. Because it shows what's actually in people's heart of how they feel about you. Some people are only cool with you while you're at the bottom. But when your life starts to become better, that's when true colors are shown. So God is only removing what's not meant to be. That's why 
it's going to feel like our life is becoming worse at the beginning. Because when we have to go through something uncomfortable, it can just be miserable. But God is cleaning up what's not meant to be in order for your life to become better. That's the favor of God. Number three, the impossible becomes possible. The word say, but Jesus beheld them and said unto them, with man, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. The Heavenly Father can do all things according to his will for our life. But it all starts with having faith and believing in Lord Jesus. So we must put all our trust in Lord Jesus because through him, there is no failure. See, whatever door that closed in your face, God can open another one. Whatever opportunities that you thought you missed out on, God can give you another opportunity. Everything that man tried to deny you from can be reversed by the power of God, by our faith in Lord Jesus. Because the words say, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. So whatever people try to do or say about you, you must remember what you carry. And that's the love of Christ. Therefore, gaining power, glory, and the favor of God over your life. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that work in us unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages world without end. Amen. That brings me to number four. God chose you over others. It's not always easy walking with the favor of God over our life. Because when his glory begins to shine upon your life, people will become jealous. You'll start to realize people you once called friends are now talking about you behind your back. Family members treating you like an outcast. But at the same time, you will start to get brand new opportunities over others. So they're going to start to recognize the favor that's over your life simply because God has now put you in the front of the line. You was once at the bottom and everybody was cool with it until the heavenly father put you in a place of power. God has now positioned you in something that most are saying you're not qualified to have this position. But you don't need the qualification from people. You just need one yes from the heavenly father. He's your qualifier. So people will become mad at you when they start to recognize how God is transforming your life. See, when God has chosen you over others, it's not about your background. It's not about what you did in the past. It's not even about your education of what you know or may not know. It's about what you carry. It's about what you carry on the inside of you. And that's the love of Christ, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. People may see this bad person of who you once was in the past, but God sees someone that can be transformed and bring glory to his name. See, God can see what other people can't see. God see opportunity. God see promise in you. Don't let people stop you from reaching your highest potential. Because you're still focusing on what they said about you in the past or the things you may have done in the past. See, we got to remember the redemption power of Lord Jesus because of who Lord Jesus is. That's why we can be forgiven from our past. And when you believe wholeheartedly in that truth, the glory of God will fall upon your life. And you'll start seeing signs of his favor working in your life. The thing that was meant for bad, God turning around so it worked in your favor. We got to pay attention to the small details. You thought your prayer was insignificant, but God even heard the small details about your prayer. And it's starting to show now. That's why people are going to get mad. 
That's why people are going to get jealous. But don't let that stop you from walking by faith, not by sight. Keep pushing through. The favor of God will bless you with new opportunities that people try to deny you from. The favor of God will turn a bad situation around so that it worked for the good for them that love the Heavenly Father. The favor of God can take you out of a jail cell into a position of power. And it won't just make a way for you, but it'll make a way for your loved ones. And unfortunately, it'll also make a way for the people that treated you bad. Look at Joseph. Joseph, he was denied by his family. He was lied on by people that enslaved him. He was cast into a jail cell. But God used his gift to make a way for him and his family and the people that treated him bad. And Pharaoh had to put him in a position of power. And the enemy couldn't touch him because he was under the protection of our heavenly father. Sometimes God reveal your end at the beginning. See, Joseph knew what he was going to get into, but he didn't know how he was going to get to it. That's why we got to put all of our trust in Lord Jesus. The reason why God chose you over others. Is because of the forgiveness that's in your heart. See, God moved people in position not because of how they was treated, but because of how they love. Because at the end of the day, it's not about how good or bad you are. It's about who's willing to surrender. To submit to the will of God. See we are brought back to the righteousness of God through Lord Jesus. That's why we have favor. Because we didn't hold those grudges even though it was painful. So that's some of the reason why the Heavenly Father chose you over others. Because of the way you operate from your heart. God can see himself in your heart. He forgave those who turned their back on him. The same way you forgave those who turned their back on you. See, when Lord Jesus was on the cross, he spoke these words to the heavenly father. Then said Jesus, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And they parted his raiment and cast lot till this day. That's the main reason why I follow Lord Jesus. Because in that statement, he showed me his ultimate power. And that's the power of forgiveness. Ultimately being the true definition of what love is. He forgave those who hurt him. See, Lord Jesus also taught, for if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. This is why you have the favor of God over your life, because you carry the true power of Lord Jesus. And that's to push through the pain, love those that hurt you and forgive when it's not easy. Sometimes it's not easy walking with the favor of God. But the moment. We deny ourselves and pick up our cross. That's the same moment. We accept the glory of God. That's the same moment we accept his will and his plan for our life. And that's to depart from evil. So that we may live an everlasting life through Lord Jesus. These are four signs you have the favor of God. I pray this video bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.